What's going on? My name is Simon and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to create a WordPress website in just a few minutes. This is for complete beginners so there's no design skills or coding skills involved with building this website. We're going to use a very simple drag and drop builder to create our professional website. So don't worry if you've never built a website before and you have no prior experience. All you basically have to do is follow along with this video and at the end you'll have your own website up and running. So let's get into the tutorial. So the first step of building our website is getting hosting and then also our domain. Hosting is simply the place where all of our website files will be stored and the domain is the name of your website. Now we're going to use Hostinger to get our hosting. It's one of the best options out there right now because it's very fast and at the same time it's also very affordable. Now I also have an additional discount you can use by using the first link down below in the video description. You'll get an additional discount when choosing your hosting plan. So make sure you use that link. Then once you click on it, you will get to this website here where we're going to go to hosting right here at the top and then we're going to click on website hosting. Then we're going to scroll down to the different hosting plans. Now I recommend to get the premium web hosting. It has everything that we need for our website and we can also get a free domain. So the name of your website is going to be included in this package right here. So we're going to click on add to cart. Then here we can choose our billing cycle, meaning how many months in advance we're going to pay for our hosting. The cheapest option is going to be the 48 months option. I would recommend this option if you know that you're going to use your website for multiple years. However, if you're not sure if you're going to use your website for that long, you can also go with one of the lower options here. If you want to get the free domain, so the free name of your website, you want to go with either the 12 months, the 24 or the 48 months option. Now I'm going to just do a, an example website here in this video. So I'm going to go with the 12 month option for now. And then we're going to scroll down where we're going to need to type in our email address. Then here we can choose our payment option. And then before you move on to the payment, you want to make sure to use the coupon code, which will get you an additional discount. So you want to click on have a coupon code and then type in Medix Media right here. Click on apply. And then as you can see here, it will give you an additional discount. Then simply type in your payment information and click on submit secure payment. Then we're going to set a password for our hosting account and click on confirm. And now we want to go straight into our hosting or dashboard. So let's click on the hosting or logo here at the top. And this will take us into our hosting or account. Now, as you can see here, we can now claim our free domain. That's the next step that we're going to do. So let's click on claim domain here. Then here you want to choose your domain extension. I recommend to go with a .com domain if you can. Sometimes your name isn't available for .com. So you can also go with a .net, for example, or a .co but try to find your domain with a .com and then you can type in your domain name here. I recommend to choose something that is easy to remember that doesn't have any weird characters or numbers. But for this video, I'm just going to type in something random like Medix Media Info. Let's see if this is still available. Click check availability. All right, it's still available and we can get our domain for free because that is included in our hosting plan. So now we can just click on claim domain. To complete our domain registration, we also need to fill in some contact information. So let's just do that here. Then click on continue. Now to complete our domain verification, you now want to go into your email inbox where you should get an email that looks like this. And then you want to click on this link right here to verify your domain. And this will take us here where it says your email address has been verified successfully. So we can now close these pages here and reload the uh, Hostinger dashboard. And now here we can see that our domain is active and our email is verified. So that's it for the first step of building the website, which was getting hosting and our domain. 
The next step is going to be installing WordPress. So to install WordPress, we're going to go to hosting here on the top menu. And then where it says premium web hosting, we're going to click on setup. Start now. And then here we're simply going to click on skip. I don't want personalized experience here. We're going to click on create a new website. Now we want to use WordPress. So we're going to click on select here under WordPress. And then here we can create our WordPress account. So it already takes the email that we have used for Hostinger. So all you need to do is set a password, then click on continue. Then here they ask us if you want to already install some plugins to our website. For now, we're not going to do that. So we're going to click on skip. I will manage plugins later. And we also don't want to choose a template just yet. So again, we're going to click on skip. I don't need a template. Here we can now choose our domain. So you should be able to see the domain that you have chosen before and then click on select here. And then here we can also choose our server location. So we can click on this icon here and then we can see different locations. And these locations will basically be where your website files will be stored. So what you want to do is choose a location that is closest to where your visitors of your website are going to be coming from. So if you have a lot of people visiting your website from Europe, you might want to choose a location that is close to these people, which is here in Europe, the UK, for example, if you have more people coming from the US, then you might want to choose a server that is located in the US because that will make your website a lot faster for people located in this area. So I'm just going to click on cancel here and go with the default location and then click on finish setup. Then let's click on edit website. And this will take us directly to WordPress. So let's click this window here and then click on the WordPress icon on the top left. And this should take us into our WordPress dashboard. So this is the place where you'll be able to manage and control your website. And whenever you want to come back to your WordPress dashboard, all you have to do is just go to your URL box at the top, type in your domain name. So this would be medicsmediainfo.com for this example, and then hit forward slash WP hyphen admin, which stands for WordPress admin, then hit enter. And this will take you back to your WordPress dashboard. And whenever you want to see how your website currently looks like, all you have to do is go to your domain name at the top and then click on visit site. And this will show you how your website currently looks like. When you want to go back to your dashboard, all you have to do is click on the WordPress icon here. And this will take you back to the WordPress dashboard. So this was step two of building our website, which was installing WordPress. The next step is going to be installing a theme, which is going to make building our website 10 times easier. So in your WordPress dashboard, you want to go to appearance here on the left side menu and then click on themes. Then let's click on add new. And now the theme we're going to install is called Astra. In fact, you can already see it here, but if you don't see it, you can simply type in Astra here in the search bar and then it should come up. Then we're going to click on install here. Once it's installed, you want to click on activate. And now we also want to install a plugin that will give us some pre-made designs to make creating our website a lot easier. So we're going to click on plugins here on the left side and click on add new. And then in the search bar, you want to type in starter templates and then install this plugin here. Click install now, then activate. And now it has automatically opened up this plugin, but if it doesn't open up for you, you can basically go back to the dashboard, go to plugins, click on plugins here, then scroll down to where it says starter templates. And then you want to click on see library, and then it will take you back to this page. Once we're here, we're going to click on build your website. Now, then for the page builder, we're going to use Elementor. So we're going to click here. And then here, finally, you can choose your website template. This template is going to determine what the overall design and the overall structure of your website is going to be. Obviously, you can customize everything later on, but this is going to give you a good starting point. 
So I recommend to choose a template that is already kind of designed to what kind of website you want to build. So if you want to build, let's say, an electrician website, you can basically type an electrician here at the top. And then you can see different types of websites that or, or templates that would be very good for that type of website. So just type in something here at the top or just browse these categories here to find the best template for you. You can also click on them here and then see how they look like when they're actually live. So you can also interact with the website. You can click on, on buttons. You can go to different pages to see if this would be a good fit for you. Once you have decided which template you're gonna go for, you're gonna click on skip and continue here. And then here you can already make some changes to the design of your overall website. So these are the default colors. You should be able to click on these colors here and then they should change here. I don't know why it doesn't work here on my browser, but you should be able to just try out different colors and see what looks best for you. The same thing with the font right here at the bottom. Once you have found your overall design, you wanna click on continue. And then here we just wanna click on submit and build my website. Great, now our website has been built, so we can now click on view your website. So this is how our website currently looks like, exactly the same like the template we have just chosen. We can also go to different pages on the website and see how they look as well. So now that was the third step of building your website, which is choosing a theme and a custom template. The next step is gonna be customizing your website. So now I'm gonna show you exactly how to customize everything on your website to make it your own. So let's start by editing our homepage. All we have to do is just navigate to the homepage by clicking on home in the top menu. And then to edit this site, we're gonna to have to go into the Elementor page builder. So we're gonna to go to edit with Elementor here at the top. Now we can edit everything here on the website by just clicking on the elements. So let's say we wanna edit this text. We just click on it and highlight the text that we wanna change. And then we can just change it to anything that we want. The same thing with the button. So here with the button, we just click on the button and then the menu right here opens up and we can just change the text right here. So we can just say, learn more. And then as you can see, the button changes live on our website. To make the changes actually visible on the actual website, we also have to go to this button right here at the bottom left and click on update. Once we click on update, these changes will actually go live and the visitors that are visiting our website will also be able to see the changes. Now, if you wanna change any of the images here on your website, all you have to do is just click on the image. So let's click on this one, for example. And then here on the left side, click on choose image. And then you can simply drag and drop the image file in this window. And then once it's uploaded, we can simply click on insert media at the bottom right. And now we have changed the image right here. Now again, let's click on update to make the changes live. And then let's see how our website currently looks like. To do that, we're simply gonna click on this preview changes icon, the eye icon at the bottom left. And this will open up a new tab, which will show us how our website currently looks. So as you can see, the text is now changed, the button is changed, and also here the image that we have just replaced. So that's how you change the overall content of your website, you simply click on the element and then make the changes. Now let's also look at how to change the header and also the footer of your website. So to do that, we're gonna to go to customize here on the top left. And then here on the header, you can see these little pen icons. So for anything that we wanna change, we simply click on the pen icon and then we can make the changes here. So if you wanna change your logo, for example, just click on change logo and then upload your logo. And it's exactly the same thing for the footer. So when we scroll all the way down, we get to the footer of the website. And the same thing here, we can just click on the pen icon and then we can change everything here. And now to save the changes, we simply click on publish at the top left and then close this by clicking on the X. And this will take us back to the website preview. Now next, let's also look at how to add a new page to your website. All we have to do here is go to new at the top and then we're gonna click on page. Then here we can give our page a name. So let's say this is our team page. 
And then you want to click on edit with Elementor. And now to add content to our new page, we can either start with a template again and simply click on this folder. And then we can see different templates that we, that we can use to build our page. Or we can also simply drag and drop different elements onto our page. So we can first add a heading. We simply drag it here from the left side into this field. And then we can just change the text here. And then we can add more elements. So we can maybe add a video right here or add pictures, add paragraphs, basically whatever you want to have on this page. So let's click on publish on the bottom left and then click on preview to see how the page that you have just created looks like. So as you can see here, we just added a heading and then added a video. So now how do we add this new page to this navigation menu here at the top? So to add a new page to a menu, we want to simply go to customize again here at the top. And then we're going to click on menus, then go to primary menu, which is the one at the top. And then here we can simply click on add items. And then here we can see all of our pages. This page here is the one that we have just created before the our team page. Now all you have to do is click on this plus icon. And as we can see now our team page is in the top menu. Now when we click on publish, um, this change is now live and we can see the our team page is now in the top navigation menu. So this was how to make a WordPress website very easily and quickly. If you found this video helpful, make sure to click the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to click the subscribe button as well. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.